Hello, welcome to Football Inspect. Today we are analyzing Chelsea vs Southampton. It was an English Premier League match held on 17th of October 2020 at Stamford Bridge. This was the starting 11 of Chelsea for the game against Southampton. Eduardo Mendy and Thiago Silva were not available for selection after the international break. It was good to see Pulisic in the starting 11, after the injury. As expected it was a 4-2-3-1 formation. It was a surprise not to see Kovacic even on the bench. There were no natural defensive midfielders present on the bench. Pulisic played on the right wing rather than the left wing. Chelsea started the match really well. They moved the ball very fast and created many chances. The interplay between the four front line players were really good. Chilwell also contributed well by moving forward. It was a joy to watch. Chelsea's pressing in the first half was really good. This was one of the examples. Conte and Chilwell were higher on the pitch while Espy and Jorginho did the defensive duties. The first goal came in the 15th minute. It was a brilliant individual goal by Timo Werner. The finish was similar to his last goal against Tottenham. Even though he had plenty of space on his left side, Werner decided to cut in into his right-hand side and shoot. The second goal came in the 29th minute. It was a trademark assist by Jorginho. We had seen Jorginho assisting like this in the last season against Watford. This blind pass was a surprise for the centre-back of Southampton. Timo Werner used his pace and body strength to control the ball and finished calmly. Chelsea conceded the first goal in the 43rd minute. The goal was a result of a mistake from Kai Havertz. Havertz tried to nutmeg and dribble Romeu from this position. I think this was a correct decision from Havertz and he succeeded in doing it. This opportunity will give a 3 vs 3 attack with Havertz, Mount, and Werner against their three defenders. Even though the Chelsea defense was out of shape, this is a risk worth taking for a player having an attacking mentality. The mistake from Havertz happened at this position after he did the nutmeg. At this moment he is in a perfect position to pass the ball to Mount or Werner or he can even run forward with the ball. But he decided to dribble backward. This was an overconfident decision from Kai Havertz. Southampton was quick to retrieve the ball and pass it to Danny Ings. It was too late for the out-of-position Christensen to react. In the second half, Chelsea players looked tired. Most of them have played for their national teams. In the 56th minute, Zuma gave this lousy back pass towards Kepa. It was a strange decision by Kurt Zuma because the Southampton forward was very close to him, the ball was not on the ground, it was bouncing, and Kepa was the goalkeeper who was very low in confidence. Zuma should have cleared it to the throw line. This mistake by Zuma led to the second goal. Kepa had a chance to clear the ball. He missed the ball from this position. This led to the second Southampton goal. This was an opportunity for Kepa to impress Frank Lampard and compete for the first-choice goalkeeper position with Mendy. But this game allowed the chance for Willy Caballero to regain his second goalkeeping position. Kepa is going to be a huge problem for Frank Lampard in the Chelsea board. The third goal was a team goal by Chelsea forwards. Pulisic, Werner, and Havertz combined well. The pace of these Chelsea forwards can threaten any solid defensive teams. It was an unselfish pass from Timo Werner to Kai Havertz. Werner who was on a hat-trick passed the ball to Havertz to ensure the goal. And it required only a simple finish by Kai Havertz. This was another moment where Chelsea defensive midfielders crumpled. One of the defensive midfielders, Jorginho was pressing Romeu. At this time, Conte should take Jorginho's role as a deep defensive midfielder. Walcott utilized this mistake by Conte and he took a blindside run of Conte. This resulted in a deadly attack, but Southampton was not able to convert it to a goal. After three minutes, the same mistake happened. Jorginho was pressing high. Conte was ball watching. Walcott was behind him. But fortunately, Southampton was not able to capitalize on the mistake. In the 86th minute, Frank Lampard decided to hold the score. He replaced Pulisic with Rhys James. Now Rhys James is playing as a midfielder. Chelsea changed their shape to 4-3-3. The third Southampton goal came from a free kick in the 91st minute. Kai Havertz was supposed to mark Theo Walcott. He allowed Walcott to take a shot. Vesterko headed the ball into the back of the net. Chelsea lost two points. 
This is what happens when you don't kill the game. This happened a lot last season. It is continuing in this season also. Let us summarize the performance of each player, who is in the starting 11 against Southampton. And pick out the man of the match. Kepa Arizabalaga. He made a mistake in the process of the second goal. Had some decent saves. Lost an opportunity to regain the trust of Frank Lampard. Cesaroth Piliqueta. He had a decent game. Solid defensive display. He was not part of any mistakes. But did not see him going forward. Andreas Christensen had a decent game. Performed a solid defensive display. He was also not part of any mistakes. Can't blame him for conceding the first goal. Kurt Zuma. His back pass to Cape led to the second goal. Had a decent opportunity to score from a corner. Was good in the air defensively. Showed good physical strength. Ben Chilwell. He was excellent in the first half. Contributed well while going forward. Had some good interplays with the front line players. Switched off in the second half. Giorgino. He had a very good game. His trademark assist for the second goal was excellent. Had many successful quick short passes. Overall he was solid in the deep CDM role. Galo Conte. He was an energetic box-to-box -box midfielder. Many times he regained possession from Southampton players. He missed some simple direct passes. And showed laps of concentration while Jorginho was pressing. Mason Mount. He had some quick link-up plays with the front-line players. Performed high-pressing game in the first half. Switched off in the second half. Kai Havertz. He had a wild game. Managed to score the third goal for Chelsea. He had some quick link-up plays with the front-line players. His mistake led to the first goal. Was poor in marking Walcott for the third goal. Christian Pulisic. It was a successful start to his new season. Had some quick link-up plays. Played a part in the process of the third goal. It was a good overall display from Christian. Timo Werner. The first goal was his individual brilliance. Linked up with Jorginho to score the second goal. Unselfish assist for the third goal. Man of the match performance from Timo Werner. Thank you for watching. I'll try to make analysis videos on the upcoming Chelsea matches also. Please give feedback and suggestions.